I've burnt roughly, I'd say about 300 boxes this year. Obviously anything that I found with EFB automatically got burnt. But with all the cold equipment I had this spring, I guess you can say it presented the opportunity to pull out the older, darker, nastier comb. So we sifted through, pulled out anything that, you know, I bought a lot of used equipment when I first started. Some of that comb, I bet you, is 50 years old. And I try to call it out as the, uh, as all my losses accumulate throughout the year, but you never get rid of it. It's always cycled into the operation. This year, well, it all got burnt. Whatever was in dead outs anyways. And unfortunately, also some good comb I had to burn just because of the wax moth, I couldn't keep up to it. It leads to the point where I've argued for quite a while now that beekeepers need more options in managing comb. Whoops. Good thing it rained. We need to build a protector investment when we go through heavy loss situations like I did this spring. Comb's not a fault, you know, partly at fault, but situation is the cause of a lot of these deaths. And as we regain ourselves for next year, we need to be able to protect some of this comb so we can at least buy ourselves a little bit of time to restock our boxes. And in essence, that's just commercial beekeeping just the reality of it. I'll show you one product that just become available to Manitoba beekeepers because of last year's heavy losses right across Manitoba. There's a call from beekeepers to bring a product to help manage them in this comb. And like government, everything takes so bloody long. We finally, finally have access to this product. Too little, too late but I'll show you what it's all about. So I'm adopting a strategy this fall to drop in queens with some bulk bees. So I'm not producing honey anymore, so you might as well make, you know, build bees instead of making honey. So these queens are waiting to be put in today. And that helps use up a lot of this comb, but you still need to store it start until now and I probably lost like I had a whole corner here full of comb and I've probably burnt 25 boxes because of wax moth so we went through and we salvaged the good comb burnt the bad comb burnt the wax infested comb and we put boxes together to make up those splits those fall splits but I wanted to test out this product that just become available to us this year it's a biological control. And what I did was, so this comb I'm gonna keep until next year, because it's not damaged and it's still good. I'm gonna restock it next year. And I just wanted to test, I could have put the, these onto my colonies, bought some more queens, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to see if this product works. We are in wax moth season right now. So I mixed this in with some water into a little garden sprayer like this, as recommended by their directions here. And with the garden sprayers, we went through and just sprayed the comb to inoculate all the comb for the wax moth. Right now I'm drying it. And I'll see, I'll let this pallet of boxes sit in the corner prime location for wax moth I'll let it sit there till freeze up and I'll go through the frames and I'll see if the wax moth has I know there's wax moth in there because there's eggs and there's there's moths and there's larvae kind of little here and there that I couldn't get out we'll see if that product stalls them enough to build a cell which is comb I sure would like to see a product like this on the shelf 
on a continual basis just provides more options for beekeepers to manage our uncertain situations. I mean, to act as a product like this on emergency use registration, well, it took a year and a half. And by the time it finally became available, while well, beekeepers burnt their comb like I did, well, pretty much, yeah, that's all they had, that's all they could do, burnt their comb and just, or just left it in the sheds. Found maybe some other creative ways to manage the wax moth. If they had options available to them, maybe they would access those options instead of getting creative. That's what I'm all about. More options. We need more options in this business. Be it wax moth, varroa mite, viral infections, nutritional requirements, what Ever. We just need more options to be able to help ourselves manage our businesses. Ah. That's my rant for the day.